Oh, I'm so excited. I really, uh, welcome, welcome. I really liked um, chatting with you. You were making me laugh. I, I, it's a sense of humor. It's a God giving gift or a curse. I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Sometimes I'm, I say things and people are like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I'm joking. Like, it's my weird sense of humor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I know. And I love it. So, um, so welcome. So what we're trying to do today is highlight our famous and most special mentors. We want to make sure you know you're appreciated. And we want to kind of hear your story. It's like a testimonial. So that like other people can listen to it and not only see that it's okay to be flawed, it's okay to learn, it's okay to ask for mentors, <clears throat> and that mentors are just real people helping you with the knowledge and the strength of a community. So that sounds absolutely perfect because when we first got into gliders, we made every mistake possible and didn't even know that we were doing it. Right, me too, me too. Um, so tell me, say your name and where you're at and um, how you got into gliders. Okay, my name is Laura Lawson and I'm in, I'm located in Georgia. Georgia. All the way coast. And it's great because the mentor program will give me folks all over the country. So you know, it, it's an opportunity to connect with people, to talk gliders. It's some of my favorite things to do. I enjoy helping people. Uh -huh. And we actually got into gliders because my daughter was interested. Mm. And so my daughter and my husband did some research and there is a flea market that's not too far from us that had sugar gliders. And that's what we did. So I, it's, it's a super convenient way to get them. But then you're educated based on people who were interested in covering overhead, not necessarily interested in the best benefit for these little marsupials that are so much fun and will go from loving you to other ones will try to remove appendages. Yeah. It, th there's not usually a happy medium to start. <laughs> we first started with the first little one that we got as we got more educated. She was probably about six weeks old because she, she just did not settle in well. So we did hard knocks. We knew the bonding pouch. We were doing the bonding pouch. We were making sure she was eating, she was drinking. We started off with unsafe wheels. We started off with, you know, okay, well, it fleece, but flannel should work because, you know, Google and rabbit holes that you can go down and Google says it's okay. So sure, let's do it. Um, thankfully, we didn't have any serious injuries from it, but we could see where it could easily happen. Just the fraying that comes from the flannel material and the opportunity for disaster. Yeah, I got really lucky too throughout my experiences of learning. Very lucky. I've only, yeah, I've only had uh, like, I haven't had very many bad instances, but I've, uh, yeah, I had to learn the hard because there wasn't, I don't even know if Sugar Glider Guardians was around when I got into it. See, I just found the Guardians in August of 2020 was when I, because I'm, I was in two groups in Georgia and that was it. I, I, I don't do drama. I tend to tell it like it is. I try to say it nicely, but I would much rather deal honestly and instead of saying, oh my gosh, that's not safe, pull it out. It's just a matter of rephrasing it and yeah. saying, you know, I can give you better options. Yeah. You're in the 
the same thing, but it's perceived differently. It's taken positively, which is truly how I mean it. I yeah. want it to come across positive. I want people in the guardians to have that positive experience, to know that they can ask questions. Right. The mentor program where it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's great because not only do I get to make new friends that way, but I get to go through the getting to know you phase with them with the glider. It's just Aww. all different. And so every milestone, if it's the first time they come to the edge of the cage to take a treat, that's huge. Yeah. And then the first time they climb up on your hands, they want to come see you. That's another huge step. And I enjoy those big steps. Because they're seen as, you know, oh, well, I got them to do this, but there's still so much more. There is, but it's one step at a time and you celebrate every win. I love that. I love how you look at that. That's perfect. I wish people would see that more instead of wanting to be at the end. They enjoy the moments. It's some encouraging sometimes to celebrate it because so-and-so is doing this or so-and-so is doing that that's great so-and-so has had their glider for six years it's been bonded for the last five and a half yeah you've had yours for two weeks you've had yours for a month you've had yours for two years but in that two years the steps haven't been followed you're doing it now and you will get there right and if you never do, you're still giving them the life that they didn't ask to be brought into people's homes. Exactly. Like us humans are brought them in here. So like they should be treated however they need to be treated each individually, I think. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Well, this is great. Okay. So... How fun. I love the little yeah. head bob, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I do that? <laughs> um, so what got you into it? Why did you, like, how was the transition from, hey, I'm a glider owner, I like this, to, hey, I want to mentor now. Did something happen? What Did somebody lead you there? How long have you been mentoring? Tell I've me. only been mentoring since, <laughs> I've only been mentoring since January in the Guardians. Um, we had, the, what brought me into the Guardians was a, the same flea market where we started. We heard a rumor that there was issues there. So Kevin, my husband and I went down there and I came back this close to losing my mind. Um, we reached out to a friend of ours that, and we just, it, I don't know what to do. The gliders are cold. There's not food. When I ask them what they're feeding, it's, oh, well, we've got cat food. Um, and it, it got progressively worse from there. So we actually walked outside, reached out to a friend of ours who said, hey, look, I'm going to post something up in the Guardians. And I said, okay, great. What's that? And that's when I got into the Guardians and it became a little side mission of anytime somebody is looking for help, if I know the answer, I'm going to respond. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to follow the post. It, and it became a, okay, the good news is we're feeding the right diet. We're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. Oh, maybe we could do this part differently. And so I spent mm, a couple of months hardcore going through this part we've got. This part, let's try this and see if this really works. And it really works. Um, we reached out to a couple of different people at different points in time with posts that were being made that people weren't always putting a positive spin on it. Um, 
And there was some communication back and forth between Aaliyah Holiday and myself. And Aaliyah sent me a message and said, hey, do you think you'd be interested in being a mentor? And my response to her was, but I'm not a glider guru. I don't have all the answers to absolutely everything. And that's when she explained that the mentor team is a team and everybody participates. Nobody's necessarily expected to have all of the answers, but everybody's expected to participate. So if this is your area, help. If it's not, let somebody else step in. Right. And I talked with she connected me with Sandra and Katrina and Jessica Lapari, and we talked and it was back and forth for a couple of weeks. And then they asked me if I really wanted to do it. And I said, if I'm going to do it, I have to make a full commitment. I can't do it halfway. And that's how it started. And now I'm all in. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that is a really good story. I really love that. I mean, you're like the perfect um, glider mentor. Gosh, I wish when I would have gotten started, I would have had you. <laughs> well, I, I tend to drive some of the people crazy that I mentor. We really do become friends with it. Right. And it's funny because everybody has their own life, real life situation. Right. It's great. I, I really have a passion for helping people. Aww. Animals and children and helping people are my three passions. My husband fits in too somewhere. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he fits in the children, right? He or fits the in the children. Exactly. Exactly. He's going to love this when he sees this. Ah! <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, what, what would you say your specialty is in mentoring? Truthfully, I am very, very partial to newbies. I enjoy taking them from the ground up. Whether it's I want a real connection with my glider, I want to do a diet that's great I want to do even if they're new to bonding I've had this glider for two years and I can't give the, I can't give it treats it won't do it that's still a newbie right and it's it's a new relationship that's what I like that's the word I was searching for I like the new relationships yes newbies new relations um what's the most important Thing you've learned about being a glider slave. That's what I call it. <laughs> Have money set aside for an emergency fund. Don't touch it for the glider because there will be a time where your vet is closed and you have to go to a ER vet. And those are triple and quadruple the normal price just to be seen. Right. The other part that goes along with it is still money related. You're going to blow your own household budget on all the toys <laughs> and the, oh, I want to try this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You'll blow the household. Yeah. Budget. <laughs> and then you have closets of glider stuff and then you have, you buy things to put glider stuff in and it takes huh? up all your space and you're like, what is going on? Yeah, we've devoted an entire room in our house. For the longest time, it was just kind of the, the storage room downstairs where it, it was the equivalent of our basement. Yeah. And Kevin has, was incredibly helpful. And in about three months, it got walls, it got floors. It was completely glider proofed so that they can't get out underneath the door and they can't, they can, I have a glider safe room in my house. That wasn't cheap either, but that's wow. a, the budget. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a glider safe downstairs. <laughs> the whole Do downstairs you? is glider safe. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's out of control. <laughs> I couldn't help it. But it's myself. supposed to be. I know. I know. I'm like, yeah, people just, they just know when they come to my house. I even have an oil painting of my first ever glider. Oh, so pretty, Chris. Out of control. <laughs> Totally. That's that. It's a requirement. I'm sorry. <laughs> the requirement. Uh -huh. um, so, do you have any fun glider stories you'd like to share? Oh. Um, sure. And I can come up with any of them. It didn't just ask me that. <laughs> ah! Um, of course, right? Exactly. Probably one of our sweetest gliders was one of our biggest issues when we got her. Mm -hmm. um, and I refer to her when I'm talking to a lot of the people that I'm mentoring. Her name is Nikki. And she is just the sweetest little thing. When we first got her, she ended up losing her cage mate. Aww. So she was by herself and we were concerned about dehydration. We had taken her to the vet. This is actually the glider who the vet taught us how to sub cue. Um, and she's, she was a problem child putting with another glider. Don't know what the issue was, but she spent a month not going near anybody. After the quarantine, it was still another month. She wanted nothing to do with any of them come out and hang out with me and we would go well places that would get me in trouble if I said it right now but, <laughs> <laughs> um she would go literally anywhere with you Aww. we finally got her to take to another glider she's happy as can be the glider that she's in with now was a little scared at first. I'm trying to say that tactfully. He would. He was one that would just as soon get an appendage off than to see you. Now he's got. He comes to the edge of the cage for the treats. He's not running off nearly as much as he was. Ah, a little bit to get him to that point. Um, but she's. She's my sweet girl. I love that. A bit, lots of education from, from the vet. And our vet has told us they are not incredibly familiar with gliders, but they can triage in an emergency. They can do wellness checks. They can do, but they told us if there is an emergency, go here. So we do. But as far as the day-to-day, -day, hey, look, we... We'd like to take him to come see you. We want to do a wellness check. We want to. They've been great. They listen. They're being educated, same as we are, because it's all everything in the glider world changes. And it's there's always new best practices. I love that. And I don't, I don't always feel like everybody agrees with everybody, especially vets. Yes. Because, I mean, we got a lot of vets over here, a lot of exotic vets, and I'll get different information in all of them. So, yeah, it's it's unfortunate because a lot, some people are getting some, other people are getting others. And This is actually the third vet. Where we've settled in now is the third vet because the first vet told us that our gliders had giardia. And so we asked for the smear test and we asked for, no, 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 there's not a reason to do that. You need to treat all the gliders with this. And as soon as it's cleared up, we need to file down their teeth. Ooh. And I said, oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm leaving now and we're done. Yeah. Went to a second vet, had the same test done. And it turns out that happy glider pellets has bee pollen and bee pollen is not easily, it, it shows up the same on a fecal exam as giardia. 
So, but when you do the smear test, that will tell what the difference is. Okay, we learned something. That was great. We had to take one of our gliders at 1130 at night because again, this is the emergency fund. He was dehydrated. We took him to an emergency clinic and they did not know gliders. Uh, he told me that he, it's okay. He knows how to sub cue because he sub cues dogs all the time. And I said, oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Which is why I'm grateful that we found the vet that we did. They admit they don't know everything, but they've pointed us in directions that for vets that are much more familiar with them. Right. That's huge. Yeah. It's hard, and I feel like everybody should interview their vets. Oh, yes. I give people lists of questions to ask. Yeah. Do you charge to spay a female? Is always tops on the list. And then um, do you have to file down the glider's teeth? Because they're not rodents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, do you... Um... Do you sell anything or where do you get your toys and such from? So Kevin takes that part on. He's part of Safe Sewing for Shiggies. So he makes a lot of the things. Your husband? Yes. I yes. love the husband now. He is absolutely, positively amazing. Shout out, Kevin. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'll send pictures and they're going, no, did you make that? No, Kevin did. That's so cool. Can you send me a link to your site for that? We don't have a site. We're not an approved vendor. So oh. we sell it. Okay. Sell anything, but everything that's made is made absolutely positively. All the seams are, in, are on the inside. He turns it around. I should get approved we should if we had the time yeah problem is he does it when he's got time he'll sit down in an afternoon and knock out and make four page sets wow make four more a month and a half later right so it's not it would be great if we had the time to do it but it's not a time commitment that he could make. We do have them available and we have sent some out to people who didn't have one. And it's okay, look, order, you know, Amanda Basham, Tara Kim, um, the list goes on with really great vendors. It's order some here, but here's one to get you through. Yeah. And I feel confident doing that but not setting up as an approved vendor because it would realistically take too long for anybody to get it. Right. So did you, um, have you done any tutorials or YouTube videos that you share with your mentees? I've not done YouTube. I've not done, I, I work this meeting. Technology is not my friend. Oh. <laughs> I can do messenger. I can do text. I can call. I can email. I can work a computer program when I know how to do it. Right. Um, beyond that, we've got a nail trimming video that we set up that my husband was trimming the nails and we were filming it. And he walked through step by step with it. And then we screenshotted a couple of individual you know look this is this is where you trim the nail this is what the nail looks like before and after yep. we've done that but it's not anywhere for the world to see because I'm not one for being on camera that's why I'm anonymous as a tour and my Facebook picture is my dog <laughs> yes I am big technology and I love being in the public and I love this. I think that's why Aaliyah and Sandra and all of them wanted me to do this because that's what I like. 
I like and you're good at it, Christy. You're very personable. You've got that easy to talk to personality. Uh, <laughs> well, I've had, I have fun. And actually this, I was really nervous at first and, and I wasn't nervous about being in the camera, but I was nervous about like not doing a good enough job, but I, I just like it. It's just easy. It's fun. And so like, I would hate sitting behind a screen and doing spreadsheets, but I love doing this. I see you're good at it too. You everybody I think has a natural, which is why it's so cool to have so many mentors because then everybody gets to put their strengths and their weaknesses on there. And uh -huh. like Guy will and Sandra, they'll put you with whoever the best is. And I love that. So what would you say your specialty is? Oh, you said newbies. I already asked. Newbies. That's, right. you that's know, kind of my favorites yeah, is... <laughs> new to gliders, new to in, new to intros, new to whatever. Yeah. Um, I asked that. I was like, oh, that kind of took me back. Um, You're good. Tell me something, one of your most interesting things about one of your gliders. Um, Thumper gives Kevin high fives for treats. Oh, really? It's one of our gliders. He, he will do it for Kevin. He will not do it for me. Kevin will walk over to the cage and put his thumb up like this or his pinky like this and go give me a high five. The glider will give him a high five and then he takes a treat. I love that. I don't know how this happened, but this is, this is their relationship and it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, so next thing we're doing, we're doing rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> rapid fire questions so i'm going to give you four questions you're going to give me it's just easy peasy ones just about you to kind of get know who you are um okay. last book you read last book i read was i have not had time to read a book in years probably twilight saga oh nice a hard time my sister and i got into it and kevin was giving us a hard time because Edward glows in the dark or in the sunlight. He sparks yeah. in the sunlight. It's been a little while since I've read a book. I read- Quite a while. Uh, yes. <laughs> now one movie comes on TV and you'd watch it over and over again. What is it? Avengers. Avengers, okay. Yes. Never seen it. I, we, have, we have animals named after Avengers. I have a Loki and a Thor that's two Huskies, and then the list goes on. Best advice you were ever given? Be kind. Always. Always. It, it's, truth is, perception is reality. And it's, be kind when you're talking to people. I like that. Perception is reality. Mm -hmm. Actually, sign um, the bottom of my emails. Be kind always. Do you really? I do. I do. It's really funny. Um, when you are gone, what do you want to be remembered for? Hopefully, in my life, I will make a positive influence. Oh, well, I think you probably already have. I keep trying, but it, yesterday has already passed. Tomorrow hasn't happened. It matters. I love it. So I'm going to um, read something off, and then we're going to pa pause the recording, and then you and I can finish up. Okay. So I am highlighting Laura Lawson, and she does not have... A page or sell anything but if you haven't had a mentor would like one please reach out to one of the admins if you're looking for information don't forget we have information in the file section of our page as always happy gliding be safe and have an amazeballs day <laughs>